Aesthetically drab and emotionally and dramatically inert, this reboot of Fantastic Four manages to actually make the previous two movies seem better in hindsight. Taking a page from the Ultimate Comics version of the origin story, the heroes and their enemy, Victor Von Doom, now gain their powers through interdimensional travel. The movie is all origin set up and very little superhero payoff. Despite the drawn out build up to them gaining their superpowers, the movie never takes time to actually have the characters really get to know one another, or more importantly, to let the audience get to know them. Whatever bonding they had mostly happens off screen. There's no real family bond established. These seem like people who might say a passing hello in the office break room, rather than a family unit who would go to hell and back for each other. So when they finally do get together for the final battle against Doctor Doom, there's no sense of fun, excitement, or accomplishment. And it's not until this final act that the movie truly goes off the rails. It suddenly wants to become a save the world adventure film, but it hasn't earned it or done any of the groundwork to make this a team you want to see unite. Doom himself is a god-awful effect. He looks like the disco gimp version of the Tin Man. His superpowers make absolutely no sense. He can simply do anything, and his plot to destroy Earth is arbitrary given how little we know about him. Reshoots are painfully evident thanks to some glaring continuity errors, and the visual effects are fairly pedestrian, being more on par with a movie made in 2005 than 2015. The thing never quite looks like anything other than a CG character, lacking the more photorealistic quality Marvel's finally managed to achieve with the Hulk. And the film's overall aesthetic is claustrophobic and dreary. It looks like it was shot almost entirely inside a storage unit. Fantastic Four isn't unwatchable or flat-out awful, it's aggressively mundane and devoid of energy, wonder, wit, and whimsy. For a movie about people seeking what else is out there, Fantastic Four never looks for a spark of life in itself. It's all as cold and gray as the soulless buildings the characters are entombed in throughout. Marvel's first family deserves better treatment than they have ever received from Hollywood. For more on Fantastic Four and Marvel, keep it here on IGN. Don't blow up. Oh yeah, that's what I want to hear before going into another dimension. Five, four, three.